I'm joined by Mark White after today's 3-0 FA Trophy win over me ahead. Mark, how happy are you, not only with the, the result, but the performance and what was, a from start to finish, a very dominant performance? No, yeah, it was, it was fantastic, wasn't it? Really, really good. I obviously appreciate all the fans coming out in the, the wind and the cold. Um, and the players um, were really committed to what we'd worked on in the week. Obviously, we was up against it. We didn't have a, any strikers. Um, so we had to adopt and uh, sorry, adapt to the way we played. Um, yeah, but played really well and um, won those half battles really all over the pitch. And that was great to see. And I thought we outpointed them first half in terms of like just winning half battles all over the park. Josh Taylor, Nar McManus, who man of the match, you know, just were, were difficult to deal with. Um, and of course, bringing in Tony at the back and Hayden, there's a lot of experience there. So <coughs> the game plan was good um, and we executed it. and. We, um, you know, this is the Maidenhead team that's unbeaten in five. I think they've won most of those. Um, we made them look really average. Um, and uh, obviously it was very much a, a mix and match Wanderers team. Yeah. So we're delighted with that. Um, you just mentioned about not playing with a striker or a recognised striker. Obviously Luke Moore and James McShane were playing or leading the line today. But I felt it almost benefited Dorking in, in how you like to have the team playing in terms of knocking it around on the floor. Because Luke Moore, especially in, that, in the first half, was getting deep, laying it off one touch passing. It was really pretty to see. Yeah, it kind of turned into like a sort of bit of a false nine, didn't it? We knew it would. And the idea was just to sort of trigger off of that and get our wingers in good areas, which we did. And Bobby scored a really important goal at a, at a good time. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the tactics were great. Um, we got it right. The boys executed it. It's a great home win, clean sheet. You know, what, how, how the irony is, you know, we created more chances in that game than we have done the last five games combined. Yeah. Um, and a lot of boys that played today done themselves a lot of favours in terms of uh, making themselves um, available for selection next week. It was great to see Joel get on from the academy um, as well, which is brilliant. We... Um, was hoping to get a goal so we could um, sell him and, and pay for the Marbella trip next year. <laughs> um, but no, seriously, he's a brilliant up and coming prospect and it was great to see him. It, there wasn't a lot wrong with that one today, which is no. nice to see. And what we've got to do now is extract what was good about it and, and build on it for the Woking game next week. Well, that's what I was going to touch on now. You, the game was kind of not dead and buried, but the result was 3 0 at half time. And the second half kind of went through the motions a little bit from both sides. How pleasing is it for you to see someone like Joel Brown and some of the other academy players on the bench progressing? So, obviously, you, Jordan, Ruben behind the scenes. That's ultimately what their goal is, isn't it? Yeah, it's credit really to, to Jordan, who started the whole journey for the academy, and, and Ruben, who has done a phenomenal job with our B team. And um, they're creating a platform where the youngsters can come through, play competitive football and uh, the gap is closing, uh, which is brilliant. And um, long may that continue, it's, it's great for the young. I can only imagine playing this level of football for someone who's 16 or, yeah. you know, it's amazing, isn't it? So, but yeah, look, we're really happy today. There's no swearing, there's no, um, uh, there, there's, you know, we played out quicker from the back, we played forward quicker, we won the duels. Um, I thought we looked so dangerous. Um, we looked like we could pick them off at any point. Yeah. Bauman can probably get a goal or two second half. And, um, um, but in the end, to your point, really comfortable. I'm not sure uh, they registered um, uh, much of a, a shot on target. No. Um, but that was today's game, and, and that's where that one is. And now we've got to just get focused on the, the league next week, and um, we've got to look to build on it. So, yeah, working away next Saturday here at Meadowbank, obviously the postponement of altering him away on Tuesday, which must be nice for you as uh, with all the injuries, players may be coming back. But local derby next week should be a big turnout. Yeah, I hope it's going to be packed. Last year it was a brilliant occasion. The Woking fans made for a fantastic day. I'm sure they're all going to come over again and pack it out. They're not doing as great this year, but I'd like to think their fans would lord as ours and they're going to follow their team. Um, yeah, local derby. Um, you know, we are where we are. The boys would be up for it. It's a much welcome postponement midweek. We didn't fancy going to Altrincham with the threadbare, to <laughs> yeah. be quite frank. Um, yeah, so we just looked to take the positives out of this one and kick on and today's really to reward all them supporters that are so loyal that understand the bigger picture here understand where we're taking the club understand we're trying to find our feet we're trying to you know overcome a bit of adversity and they always get behind us three three one down at Fylde yeah. miles away from home cheering the boys on and uh, it makes a big difference to the club so next week I want to really see us pack this out 12th man job 
um, for Woken. That, that I really want the fans to do that. So thank you for your time, Mark. Great performance today, and four wins from Wembley. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Cheers, yeah. mate. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs>